So I don't know about you guys, but I've had some random jobs in my life. Oh, yeah. Random job? What kind of random job? Is I it? mean, everything from working in an ice cream shop to a, a T-shirt uh, embroidery place. Yeah. I, I actually worked in a factory where it was a part-time gig riveting things. Mm -hmm. and I say things because I never asked what they were. <laughs> it was only two <laughs> weeks. No, I was there for two weeks, so I figured... Uh. Eh. I think we've all had uh, those random jobs. If I told you I was a swamper on the back end of a gin truck, what would you say? Where, where, where do you think I was working? A uh, swamper? I don't know. <laughs> Down south? I was in the oil field. You were in the oil oh, wow. field. Hey, I can tell you, I sold airplanes. Random. She sold random. airplanes. Sold airplanes. That's random. Yeah. yeah. Well, today I get to add another one to the list. Yeah? Yes. In today's day in the life, I found out what it's like to work on a sheep farm. <laughs> On a little farm in Dover, Delaware, lives a modern-day shepherd. And every day, after her day job, Tara Latocha tends to her flock of sheep. They're very relaxing animals for me, so I can just, you can just sit and chill with them. Now they do have more uses than just being something to chill with. You can use sheep milk for cheese. You can eat sheep. You can use their fleeces for whatever you want. Um, you can use sheep skins. Um, you can also use ram's horns for doing other crafts and stuff like that. They also give Tara the ability to combine two passions. It seems like getting back into sheep, getting into the fiber world, sort of turned into a really great way to both do artwork and deal with livestock. And there's so much more to yarn than you would ever think. With the newly born baby lambs, Tara currently has about 30 sheep. And when I stopped by the farm, some of them were due for their annual haircut. Side note, sheep don't actually have hair. They have wool. Trust me, there's a difference. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you got her. Lost the mic. You got her? I got her. You were like wrestling these sheep. Yeah. There's, there's a trick to it. So the trick with the sheep is to keep the, the hips off the ground and the head off the ground. Um, Cause like at this point, she can't get up. Um, and I'm doing no work. Kristen here is a professional sheep shearer. She's hired by local farms to, well, shear sheep. You wanna try? Yes. <laughs> what do go. I do here? All right, so I need you to put one foot as far under her shoulder as you can. Just like that. And then the other <laughs> leg goes right in here. Okay. There you go. And I'll give you this. All right. Oh, Just hold geez. it like that. Pull this on your, or I'll pull it when, I don't, when you're ready to go. What am I doing? I don't know. So, you just want to keep your hands, you want to keep this flat. Okay. This and you're going to start here. Way. Yeah. Is it going to hurt? It's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. Okay. Just don't, just keep it as level as you can. You're shearing sheep. I'm shearing sheep. <laughs> Never thought I would say that. From here, the wool is bagged and washed several times before eventually looking like this. Before you can spin the wool, you have to card the wool, which gets most of the fibers going in the same direction. That's right. And finally, after all of that, you're ready to spin the wool into yarn. This is a spinning wheel. You're used to seeing spinning wheels in Cinderella and Disney movies and stuff like that. Um, basically, uh, you have your main gear and your spindle. And the whole process is just spinning the yarn. You draft it out. And you see the fiber gets twisted on itself. Now wool has little barbs on it that enable it to hold on to itself. It turns into yarn. And this would be a single ply yarn. So basically what you can do is an easy way to get started in this is to just mush it, the ends together like this and hold it with your thumb and fingers. And go ahead and release these fingers and let it just sort of. And now we're gonna get this started and let it pull in. There you go. And then we're gonna start drafting out. We'll take this finger and uh -huh. just start pulling it out. Now you gotta be careful about getting the twist back because it'll get harder. To, so 
So just pull your fingers back and forth. <laughs> I broke it. That's normal. You're That's just normal. beginning. That's fine. I do it's it normal. too. I'm a beginner. That's fine. I actually broke it a lot of times and somehow managed to spin the wheel in the wrong direction, which knotted up the spindle. So I figured I would call it a day and went back outside to chase around the baby sheep. And despite their tendency to run from me, Tara assures me they are very friendly animals. I love the fact that the sheep are extremely friendly. I'm very personable with my sheep, so they're really like dogs. And so uh, sometimes after work, a long day of work, I can just go sit and play with lambs and just chill with the girls and stuff, and they're really great. And they'll, they'll just lie down next to me and just get scratched. You know, they're just great. Now, Tower's Farm is named Dragon Wool Sheep Farm, which I think is a very cool name. She sells lambs and fleeces, and Jimmy and Lisa, Tara tells me that her goal is to make this a self-sustaining hobby. So, you know, sell some fleece to be able to pay for her own hobbies. Wow. Yeah. So, did you have fun? I did. I, I, when I was uh, spinning the wool into yarn, yeah. I, I have no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I was just, like, moving my fingers back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I just was like, oh, this but is what now, she was doing. You can say you did it. I did it. Show the sheep shearer. Yeah. <laughs>